Good morning, all, and I welcome you all on this uh, auspicious occasion of Independence Day. Uh, I would especially like to welcome Chairman National Steering Committee UBA, Chancellor Nalanda University, Padm Bhushan, Professor Shri Vijay P. Bhatkarji. I welcome you, sir. I welcome Director IIT Delhi, Professor Ram Gopalji. I welcome you, sir. I would also like to welcome the National Coordinator UBA, Professor Virend Kumar Vijayji, Professor Vivek and the entire team of UBA and everybody who has joined us live uh, through this forum. I welcome you all. Uh, we have all gathered today uh, to hear what uh, all the dignitaries have to say today and to announce two major awards. One for the Perennial Assistant Award and other the Unnati Ki Kahani Chitron Ki Jubani. Uh, let me just quickly brief you about how the process has been. Last year, on the occasion of Gandhi Jayanti, October 2019, we called entries for perennial assistance from all the institutes who have completed at least one year with UBA. We shared a questionnaire and we asked them to uh, share a three minutes video with us about the progress that they have done. And I'm very happy to share that uh, we received a total of about 300 applications uh, in about three months time. Of them, some of them uh, were eligible, some of the entries were not valid. Uh, we presented all of them to our internal executive committee here at NCI IIT Delhi UBA. And uh, the internal executive committee shortlisted 80 of them. So all of them were uh, sent to their respective RCIs for verification. The respective RCIs did the verification. And once we got the final report from the RCI, we again presented it to our internal executive committee. And the internal executive committee out of those 80 selected 78. And the selection criteria was that all the institutes who are scoring 60 and above uh, were selected for uh, the perennial assistance award. So in that perennial assistance, we are giving about 1.75 rupees, uh, lakh rupees to uh, all the institutes and how it has to be spent. What are the basic guidelines? Uh, Professor uh, Vijay would be briefing you in a moment. And that's how uh, we came to this uh, 78 numbers of uh, perennial assistance today. So my congratulations to all 78 of you, and we'll be shortly hearing the name uh, from the dignitaries today. For the second competition, which is Unnati Ki Kahani Chitron Ki Jubani, we launched this uh, competition on 3rd of July, and it lasted for about a month. And we got more than uh, 850 uh, entries. Uh, there were two stage shortlisting criteria internally done by uh, uh, NCI UBA. And uh, the final list was presented to the internal executive committee yesterday itself, and they approved five names, and we will be announcing uh, that award to today. Uh, with this, I would like to request Professor Vijay to uh, kindly introduce the progress of the UBA so far to all the participants who have uh, joined today live to witness this event, and to welcome uh, Professor Bhatkarji for his address. Professor Vijay. Thank you, Dr. Priyanka. And I welcome all the participating institute across the country from all the states, all 29 states and six union territories who are participating in this live video telecast of appreciation award to be confirmed to selected institutes across the country. First of all, today is Swatantra Divas and Gandhi Jayanti ki jo Patasmi was Ghant Manai Jari hai. Usme aap sab ka swagat hai ki unki jo dream thi हमारे देश को किस तरह से ग्राम स्वराज में लेके जाना है द पैराडाइम ऑफ डेवलपमेंट व्हिच ही एनविसेज एट दैट टाइम व्हेन वी वुड बिकम इंडिपेंडेंट दैट इज द थीम ऑफ उन्नत भारत अभियान दिस वाज कंसेप्टुअलाइज्ड बाय आईआईटी दिल्ली इन 2014 और तो फिर मंत्रालय जो एचआरडी है ह्यूमन रिसोर्स डेवलपमेंट मिनिस्ट्री है उन्होंने कहा कि यह तो खाली आईआईटी दिल्ली पूरे देश भर में कैसे कर सकता है इसको तो एमएचआरडी का नेशनल प्रोग्राम होना चाहिए इस कांसेप्ट को उन्होंने पसंद किया और इसको राष्ट्रपति जी ने 2014 में नवंबर में इसको शुरुआत की कि एक भारत देश के शिक्षा मंत्रालय का एक विशेष कार्यक्रम बनेगा जो कि शिक्षा संस्थाओं जो भी पूरे देश भर में हैं यूनिवर्सिटीज हैं कॉलेजेज हैं इंस्टीट्यूट्स हैं आईआईटीज हैं आईएमएस हैं वो सब अपने आसपास के गांव के लिए उनके डेवलपमेंट के लिए अपने स्टूडेंट्स और अपने फैकल्टी मेंबर को मदद में लेंगे इससे दो फायदे होने वाले हैं उससे हमारे जो एकेडमिक प्रोग्राम है हमारा जो रिसर्च प्रोग्राम है वो एनरिच होगा ताकि उनको जो लोगों में समझ है 
जो ट्रेडिशनल विजडम है जो उनको नॉलेज है जो अंडरस्टैंडिंग है वो हमारे स्टूडेंट सीखेंगे हमारे फैकल्टी मेंबर सीखेंगे और जो मॉडर्न टेक्नोलॉजी है मॉडर्न नॉलेज है वो गाँव तक पहुंचेगी तो ये एक टू वे प्रोसेस हुआ जिसमें कि हमारे विद्यार्थी हमारे फैकल्टी मेंबर्स गांव से समाज से लोगों की चीज क्या रिक्वायरमेंट है उसको समझते हैं और साथ में जो उनके पास जो नॉलेज है जो टेक्नोलॉजी है जो मॉडर्न अंडरस्टैंडिंग है वो गांव तक ले जाते हैं और इसमें डिस्ट्रिक्ट के एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन का पूरा सपोर्ट हमको मिल रहा है जहाँ पे कम है वहाँ पे भी भारत सरकार कोशिश कर रही है कि वहाँ पे डिस्ट्रिक्ट कलेक्टर और उसके साथ जो डिस्ट्रिक्ट एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन की मशीनरी है वह उन्नत भारत अभियान के विद्यार्थियों उनके जो अध्यापक है उनके साथ मिलकर काम करे तो अभी तक बड़ी खुशी की बात है कि जब हमने एक संस्थान के माध्यम से 2014 में शुरू किया था जो आईआईटी दिल्ली पहला संस्थान था इस कार्यक्रम को कंसेप्ट में देने में और शुरुआत करने में आज पूरे देश भर में लगभग 2614 कॉलेजेस जिसमें कि आई 21 आई हैं आई हैं एम्स हैं एन हैं एग्रीकल्चर यूनिवर्सिटीज हैं सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटीज हैं और स्टेट यूनिवर्सिटीज हैं सभी इसमें मिलकर काम कर रहे हैं लगभग फोर्टीन विलेजेज में और हमारे इसमें करने के लिए जो एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव नेटवर्क है उसमें आईआईटी आई टी इज वर्किंग एज ए नेशनल कोऑर्डिनेटर इंस्टीट्यूट और उस हमारे साथ में 45 रीजनल कोऑर्डिनेटर इंस्टीट्यूट्स हैं हर स्टेट में मिनिमम एक है जो बड़े स्टेट्स में उसमें लगभग दो या तीन या चार रीजनल कोऑर्डिनेटर इंस्टीट्यूट है अगर मैं एक उदाहरण दूँ उन उत्तर प्रदेश का तो उत्तर प्रदेश में तीन हमारे रीजनल कोऑर्डिनेटर इंस्टीट्यूट हैं उन्नत भारत अभियान के वेस्टर्न यूपी के लिए आईआईटी कानपुर कैटर करता है ईस्टर्न यूपी के लिए आईआईटी बीएचयू कैटर करता है और सेंट्रल यूपी के लिए दयालबाग एजुकेशन इंस्टीट्यूट आगरा कैटर करता है इसी तरह अगर और जगह की बात करें तो हर स्टेट में दो या तीन या छोटे स्टेट हैं तो वहाँ पर एक तो टोटल फोर्टी रीजनल कोर्डिनेटर इंस्टीट्यूट के माध्यम से हम इस प्रोग्राम को इम्प्लीमेंट कर रहे हैं जो कि लगभग दो कॉलेजेज में काम कर रहा है लगभग 14000 हजार गाँव में हम लोग काम कर रहे हैं और अभी अभी एक महीने पहले ही हम लोगों ने जो काउंसिल फॉर साइंटिफिक एंड इंडस्ट्रियल रिसर्च है उसके साथ एम साइन किया है और एक जो ट्राइबल कोऑपरेटिव मार्केटिंग डेवलपमेंट फेडरेशन ऑफ इंडिया है जो ट्राइबल एरियाज में काम करती है पूरे देश भर में उनके साथ एम साइन किया है कि किस तरह से उन्नत भारत अभियान गाँव में जो रूरल टेक्नोलॉजीज हैं जो ट्रेडिशनल टेक्नोलॉजीज हैं जो मॉडर्न टेक्नोलॉजीज हैं उनके माध्यम से रूरल लाइवलीहुड और उनके एम्प्लॉयमेंट अपॉर्चुनिटी और एंटरप्रीनरशिप को बढ़ाएगी जो पूरे देश भर में सी एस आई आर के लेबोरेटरीज के माध्यम से ट्राइफाइड के बंधन केंद्रों के माध्यम से हम लोग गाँव के लोगों का स्किल डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम ऑर्गेनाइज करेंगे पूरे देश भर में अपनी पार्टिसिपेटिंग इंस्टीट्यूट के साथ साथ और हम देखेंगे कि वो किस तरह से एक सस्टेनेबल लाइवलीहुड क्रिएट कर पाए ताकि उनको फिर गांव से शहर में नहीं जाना पड़े ताकि जो कोविड के बाद में लगभग 1.1 मिलियन 11 मिलियन पीपल हैव माइग्रेटेड बैक फ्रॉम अर्बन एरियाज टू रूरल रूरल एरियाज तो उनमें से ज्यादातर लोग वापस शहर नहीं आना चाहते तो उनको गांव में ही किस तरह से अच्छी आजीविका मिल जाए उनकी गुड क्वालिटी लाइवलीहुड हो जाए तो वो टेक्नोलॉजी बेस्ड सिस्टम पूरे देश भर में डेवलप करने की कोशिश हो रही है नीति आयोग के साथ भी बात हुई है मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ रूरल डेवलपमेंट के साथ भी बात हुई है और आने वाले समय में मानव संसाधन विकास मंत्रालय जब शिक्षा मंत्रालय हो गया न्यू एजुकेशन पॉलिसी जो आई है उसमें उन्होंने उन्नत भारत अभियान को अगले पांच साल में किस तरह से काम करना है इस पर विचार मंथन चल रहा है और कोशिश ये है कि जो पूरे 45,000 फाइव थाउजेंड कॉलेजेज है देश भर में और जो पूरे छह लाख से ज्यादा गाँव है वो सब आपस में कनेक्ट हों कोई भी गांव बिना किसी एजुकेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट हायर एजुकेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट से कनेक्ट हुए बिना नहीं रहे और वो उसके डेवलपमेंट में उसका सहयोग करें तो लगभग अभी पाँच करोड़ यूथ हैं जो हायर एजुकेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट में पढ़ते हैं सारी कॉलेजेस यूनिवर्सिटीज में पढ़ते हैं वो और सारे जो फैकल्टी मेम्बर्स हैं जो हमारे टीचर्स हैं यूनिवर्सिटीज के कॉलेजेस के इंस्टीट्यूट्स के वो सब मिलकर इसको इम्प्लीमेंट करने की कोशिश करेंगे किस तरह से देश की में जो का जो प्रधानमंत्री का आह्वान है कि हमको आने वाले समय में किस तरह से पूरे देश को आत्मनिर्भर भारत बनाना है उसमें गांव भी आत्मनिर्भर हो शहर भी आत्मनिर्भर हो प्रदेश भी आत्मनिर्भर हो देश भी आत्मनिर्भर हो और वो तभी हो सकता है जब वेन वी बिकम वोकल फॉर लोकल मतलब लोकलाइज इकोनॉमिक सिस्टम जब डेवलप होगा तभी हमारा देश आत्मनिर्भर बन सकता है और जो लोकलाइज इकोनॉमिक सिस्टम डेवलप होने के लिए लोकलाइज टेक्नोलॉजी हमको यूज करनी पड़ेगी लोकलाइज स्किल यूज करनी पड़ेगी लोकलाइज रिसोर्सेज यूज करने पड़ेंगे और उसमें उन्नत भारत अभियान एक बड़ा लीडिंग रोल प्ले कर सकता है पूरे देश भर में और आप सब लोग जो इसके साथ जुड़े हैं जो गाँव में काम करने वाले हैं जो कर रहे हैं 
अपने विद्यार्थियों के साथ अपने फैकल्टी मेंबर के साथ आप एक दिशा दीजिए कि किस तरह से जो, जो गांव आपने अडॉप्ट किए हैं उसमें इस जो परिकल्पना है कि किस तरह से हमारी नई एजुकेशन पॉलिसी के साथ नई सिस्टम के साथ हम अपने गाँव को वापस आत्मनिर्भर बना सकें जो कि सोलहवीं सत्रहवीं शताब्दी तक हमारा देश सोने की चिड़िया कहलाता था और पूरे जो दूसरे यूरोपियन कंट्रीज हैं वो बिजनेस करने के लिए इंडिया आना चाहते थे तो हम उस स्थिति को वापस ले आए कि देश एक दोबारा सोने की चिड़िया बने सबको रोजगार मिले हमारे गांव सक्षम हो हमारे शहर सक्षम हो हमारा पर्यावरण शुद्ध हो यही उन्नत भारत अभियान की परिकल्पना है और आपके सहयोग की अपेक्षा के साथ मैं आपका बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद करता हूँ मैं अब डॉक्टर विजय भटकर जो हमारे नेशनल स्टेरिंग कमेटी के चेयरमैन हैं और नालंदा विश्वविद्यालय के कुलाधिपति हैं चांसलर हैं उनसे आग्रह करूंगा कि वो अपना संक्षिप्त सबको एड्रेस करें और बताएं कि जो चित, चित्रों की जुबानी उन्नति की कहानी में किन किन लोगों को पुरस्कार मिलने वाला है मैं रिक्वेस्ट करूँगा डॉक्टर विजय भटकर जी से thank you uh, thank you professor vijay i think you have given a very comprehensive introduction to unnat bharat abhiyan this morning like most of you i was li listening to our dear prime minister's address to the nation which are very comprehensive which are very inspiring and when we talk about atmanirbhar bharat what is his concept and what, what is it? how is he looking towards us he mentioned about a national education policy which has been just announced this national education policy i consider it is a in certain way is really a uh, new direction finding policy which we have been looking forward to for several several years one of the major aspects of this i remember in 2014 when i became the chairman of iit delhi and when i sat in that chair and suddenly i started asking questions to myself how did india imagine at that time our nation imagine at that time when we just got the independence when we were struggling to establish our schools in our villages and our young girls and boys had to swim across rivers to reach to the schools if you look back now if you look back now <coughs> india has developed one of the largest infrastructures of the world one of the largest and very soon the largest educational infrastructures and it is in this context the new policy assumes significant importance so today we are close to as we has been told to us 45000 colleges we are told to us that about more than 15 lakhs schools and we are close to very soon thousand universities i mean nobody could have imagine they starting from very very handful of universities who would have gone to would go to thousand universities and many of them now are entering as a uh, institutes of eminence and world class universities of the future so it is in this context we are looking at ourselves the question came by the prime minister or the prime minister mentioned we have 6 lakh villages we have 2.5 lakh gram panchayat villages and we there cannot be a developed india or there cannot be atmanirbhar india without atmanirbhar grams i think this is what we have recognized so now the response if in this context unnat bharat abhiyan was conceived and we had worked out that plan the linking for the first time i think at that time education was linked to the national development in an integrated manner every college must adopt five villages should adopt five villages and work out a comprehensive plan and start working our student must be exposed our faculty must be exposed our researchers must be exposed to real india real bharat what it is which is which is living in the villages as mahatma gandhi said i think this was a very important transformational process which brought and that's how unnat bharat abhiyan has been realized i'm very pleased to say now that i'm think that 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 we have uh we are trying with currently we have so many participating institutions like 2614 which are connecting to i think 14000 villages 14000 villages if you look at it i think 
have Virendra Vijay, Professor, and uh, and all of and the part participants from National Coordinating Institute to realize we often talked about connecting to all villages of India, six lakh villages of India, two point five gram panchayat villages of India, and we have close to fifty forty five thousand colleges, and we can do it in the. This must be done before India celebrates our I think centenary of independence. And uh, we have time. So sometime we can definitely do that. We are not talking about Atman Nirbhar now. At that time point, we are talking about Unnat Bharat. Our uh, Unnat Bharat means the advanced nation. India must come out as a as an advanced nation, and which is definitely a feasible thing. And that can only happen really if you have Unnat Grams. I think it is in this context we are meeting. We are looking at now the the our participating institution. We are there the, to, today today with with uh, with us, and we are lo looking at. Fourteen thousand villages, which are connected. Now we want to see that kind of thing. What is happening in these villages in reality on the ground level? And then we are asked for the something like that. Let us see. We can we can today with this uh, IT infrastructure available, we can see it digitally. This is the photo, we photographically see what is exactly happening on the ground. So this is now Unnati ki kahani or Chitro ki jubani. So if you want to see that kind of thing. So this we are going to see on our website. We are going to see of the website of our of our uh, new ministry a, called Education Ministry. Now this one of the that uh, this is what is happening. Our students and faculty and our researchers are connected to these villages. What are the real problems today? We are announcing now um, to uh, five. We received so many proposals. The from they were shortlisted. Then again they were shortlisted. And uh, today we are announcing. Based on the, the beautiful digital photography and what they have actually done, that work, five institutes have been shortlisted, uh, which name whose names now I will announce in front of you. Friends, these institutes are Institute of Information Technology and Management, Janakpuri, New Delhi. I think, yeah, Institute of Information Technology and Management from Janakpuri, New Delhi, and. Um, And RCI was was connected up to IIT Delhi. So, the next institute is Vasanta College of Women, Uttar Pradesh, from Varanasi, and uh, RCI is the, there is IIT BHU. So, the third institute which are shortlisted is MAM College of Engineering and Technology from Tamil Nadu, from Tiruchirappalli, and uh, RCI name is Tamil Nadu or is AU or CB. Agriculture University. Yeah, Tamil Nadu Agricultural University. That yeah. is uh, Tamil Nadu Agricultural University from Coimbatore, and the next institute is, uh, or maybe there's a regional coordinating institution, Saint Mary College, which is an autonomous college in Tamil Nadu from Tuthukudi, and uh, what is that? Uh, uh, RCI name? Gandhi Gram Rural Institute. Ah, yeah. Gandhi Gram Rural Institute, deemed to be Tamil Nadu. Ah, yeah. Gandhi Gram Rural, right, right name, right name, Gandhi Gram. Rural Institute from Tamil Nadu, and uh, last name, the fifth name, yeah. which are shortlisted, is Assam Don Bosco University from Assam. Um, the, the district is Kamrup Metro Metropolitan, and the coordinating institute is IIT Guwahati. So these institutes have been shortlisted based on the pictures they have submitted. Those will be the later on videos. They will come on the website. They will also go on our education ministry, Ministry of Education's website, so that we can see actually what is happening on the ground. So we congratulate these five institutes. और उनकी उन्नति की कहानी वो बता बताने वाले चित्रों की जुबानी व्हाट व्हाट विल कम इन द वेबसाइट एंड आल्सो नेक्स्ट वेरी सुन ऑन द वीडियोस थैंक यू सो मच एंड कंग्रेट्यूलेशंस या कंग्रेट्यूलेशंस टू ऑल दिस विनर्स एंड आई एम आल्सो ग्रेटफुल एंड कंग्रेट्यूलेशंस थैंक यू डॉक्टर विजय भटकर जी फॉर स्पेयरिंग हिज वैल्यूएबल टाइम एंड एड्रेसिंग ऑल द पार्टिसिपेटिंग इंस्टीट्यूट अक्रॉस द कंट्री now i request uh, professor ram gopal rao who is the director of iit delhi as well as vice chairman national steering committee unnat bharat abhiyan to announce to address the gathering all the participating institute and also announce the results of our perennial assistant fund yes. thank you very much uh, professor vijay thank you professor batkar for taking time uh, to be with us uh, on this occasion i think uh, you know everyone is talking about the new education policy as well as atmanirbhar bharat 
I think UBA in a way is doing both of these and uh, UBA is all about bringing people together, making our high technologies visible to people in the society and uh, and impact people directly. You know, I think UBA, when we all conceived it a uh, long time ago, it started as a project and uh, and then it became a program. I think now it is becoming a movement. So I think from a small project to a program to a movement, now I see that thousands of institutions getting connected under the UBA banner and, and working in the villages. I think this is a change that uh, that the nation always wanted to see. You know, when we think of high technology, we are always looking at high technology for sending, uh, let's say, some, you know, some spacecraft to Mars and all that. While those Mars missions and all of them are very, very important for the country, the offshoot of high technology also needs to help the people. The same technology that sends a, a spacecraft to Mars can also alleviate the problems of poor farmers in the villages. I think you know that is what we need to keep in mind. While we are we are aiming for the mass, we should also be using the offshoots of these technology to help the poor farmers in the country. I think if we don't do that, I don't think any technology can ever be appreciated in the country. And when people don't support these technologies, all of these missions, all of them will have their own uh, you know problems and all of that. I think uh, we need to realize that high technology is is not necessarily only for things uh, you know where where people are not directly getting benefited i think having said that uh, uba is doing very well and uh, there is a lot of work happening and i am very happy to see that it's now you know picking steam and uh, and uh, uh, giving uh, the, the impact is becoming visible in the society so i have the pleasure of uh, announcing uh, the the awards for the perennial assistance fund so there are uh, many winners uh, there are uh, almost like uh, 78 winners so i will read the first 10 names we have more faculty here so they will also announce the, the rest of the names and uh, the this is in no specific order just in the order that has been given to me and uh, the first uh, institute is jawaharlal nehru rajkiya mahavidyalaya jnrm andaman and nicobar islands port blair that is the first institute second institute is Pace Institute of Technology and Sciences, Andhra Pradesh, Prakasham. The third institute is Dr. B. R. Ambedkar University, Srikakulam, Andhra Pradesh, Srikakulam. The fourth institute is Sagi Ramakrishnam Raju Engineering College, Andhra Pradesh, West Godavari. Fifth one is Jorhat Engineering College, Assam, Jorhat. Sixth institution is IIT Gauhati, Assam, Kamrup. Seventh Institute is National Institute of Technology, Raipur, Chhattisgarh. Eighth Institute is Gujarat Vidyapit, Gujarat, Gandhinagar. Ninth one is Sri Sharad Vidya Mandal Institute of Technology, uh, Vidya Mandal Institute of Technology, Gujarat, Barua, Baruj, Baruj. Tenth Institute is Sardar Vallabhai National Institute of Technology, Surat, Gujarat. So these are the ten institutions. The rest of them, uh, my colleagues will will also know. Yeah. So, sir, Vijay. So, the names of the institute are in the order of the states. So, Assam, Andaman Nicobar, Assam, and Andhra Pradesh and like this. So, Gujarat. So, 11th number is National Institute of Technology, Srinagar, Jammu Kashmir. 12th is the Birla Institute of Technology, Mesra, Ranchi. 13th is the Indian Institute of Management, Ranchi. 14th 14 is the Christ University. Dim to be University, Bangalore. Fifteenth, the Central Acharya Institute of Graduate Studies, Bangalore. Sixteenth is the Indian Institute of Science, Education, Research, Tribun, Puram, Kerala. Seventeenth is the Kerala Agricultural University, Tissur. Eighteenth, Vimal Jyoti Engineering College, Kannur. Nineteenth, Mangalam College of Engineering, Kerala, Kottayam. Twentieth is SCM School of Technology and Management, Kerala, Anakulam. 21st is the Institute of Technology and Management, Gwalior, Madhya Pradesh. 22nd is the ITM University, Gwalior. 23rd is IPS Academy of Institute of Engineering and Science, Madhya Pradesh, Indore. 24th, Chameli Devi Group of Institution, Indore, Madhya Pradesh. 25th is the St. Aloysius Institute of Technology, Jabalpur. 26th is 
राजीव गांधी प्रौद्योगिकी विश्वविद्यालय मध्य प्रदेश भोपाल ट्वेंटी सेवंथ इज मौलाना आजाद नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी मध्य प्रदेश ट्वेंटी एट इज एट कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी अकोला महाराष्ट्र ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ इज थार्डोमल साहनी इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज महाराष्ट्र थर्टी एट इज द गवर्नमेंट कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग नागपुर नाउ आई रिक्वेस्ट प्रोफेसर विवेक टू रीड थर्टी फर्स्ट टू फिफ्टी Thirty first Institute is S N Arts D J M Commerce and B N S Science College, Sangmaner, Maharashtra, Ahmednagar. Thirty second Institute is Sri Hanuman Vyam Prasarak Mandal's College of Engineering and Technology, Amravati, Maharashtra. Thirty third Institute is S B J N Institute of Technology Management and Research, Nagpur, Maharashtra. Thirty fourth Institute is K K H A Arts S M G L Commerce and S P H J N Science College. Chandwad, Maharashtra, Nashik district. Thirty-fifth institute is Vishwakarma Institute of Information Technology, Maharashtra, Pune. Thirty-sixth institute is Symbiosis International, deemed to be university, uh, Pune, Maharashtra. Thirty-seventh institute is Vishwakarma University, Pune, Maharashtra. Thirty-eighth institute is Rajaram Bapu Institute of Technology, Rajaram Nagar, Sakrale, Sangli district, Maharashtra. National Institute of Technology, Manipur, West Imphal District, Odisha State uh, Open University, Sambalpur, Odisha, Dr. C. V. Raman University, that, that is the forty-one is Dr. C. V. Raman University, uh, Bilaspur, Chhattisgarh. Forty-second institution is Ashwara College of Education, Jodhpur, Rajasthan. Forty-third institute is Jayoti Vidya Peach Women's University, Jaipur. Forty-fourth Institute is R M K Engineering College, Tiruvallur, Tamil Nadu. Forty-fifth Institution is S R M Institute of Science and Technology, Chengalpattu, Tamil Nadu. Forty-sixth Institution is Gandhi Gram Rural Institute, deemed to be university, Tindigul, Tamil Nadu. Forty-seventh is Arupadai. Vidu Institute of Technology, Kanchipuram, Tamil Nadu. Forty-eighth Institute is Sri Sai Ram Engineering College, Kanchipuram, Tamil Nadu. Forty-ninth Institute is IIT Madras, Tamil Nadu. Fiftieth Institution is Fatima College, Madurai, Tamil Nadu. Fifty-first, fifty-one Institute is Algappa Chettiar Government College of Engineering and Technology, Karaikudi. Tamil Nadu, it is in Shiv Ganga district. Fifty second institute is National Engineering College, Tuti Koran, Tamil Nadu. Fifty third is Sacred Heart College, Vellore, Tamil Nadu. Fifty fourth institution is PSG College of Arts and Science, Coimbatore, Tamil Nadu. Fifty fifth fifth institution is Sri Ishwar College of Engineering, Coimbatore, Tamil Nadu. Fifty sixth institution is Bannari Amman. Institute of Technology, Erode, Tamil Nadu. Fifty seventh is Pachiappa College of Men, Kanchipuram, Tamil Nadu. Fifty eighth institution is Sarada Krishna Homeopathic Medical College, Kola Shekram, Kanya Kumari District, Tamil Nadu. Fifty ninth institution is M Kumarasamy College of Engineering, Karur, Tamil Nadu. Sixtieth institution is Kailan College of Engineering, uh, Shiv Gangai, Tamil Nadu. Now I request Professor Priyanka Kaushal to announce from 61 to 78 institutions. Thank, Thank you. you, sir. So uh, the 61th institute is Shri Ishwara College of Engineering, Coimbatore. 62nd is the Ban Banari Am Amman Institute of Technology, Erod. Next is uh, M Kumaraswamy College of Engineering, Karur. Next is Central University of Tamil Nadu, Tiruvallur. Next is M A M College of Engineering, Tiruchirappalli. Uh, next is Saint Joseph College, Tiruchirappalli. S R Engineering College, Varangal. Vishnu Institute of Pharmaceutical in Education and Research, Medak, Telangana. Next is M L R Institute of Technology, Medical, Telangana. Hyderabad Institute of Technology and Management, Medical, that is seventieth. Uh, next is Dayalbagh Education Institute, Agra, Dayalbagh. 
then is GLA Institute, Mathura, followed by Bundelkal Institute of Engineering and Technology, Chansi. Then we have Indian Institute of Technology, Kanpur, Kanpur. Then National Institute of Technology, Durgapur, Pashim, Bardhavan, West Bengal. Then is Bhairav Ganguly College, I, uh, North 24 Parganag. Next is uh, Brainwave University, again, North 24 Parganag, under IIT Kharagpur. Next is Erga Sarda Shashi Bhushan College, Purv Medni, Mednipur. So congratulations to all 78 uh, institutes, those who have been shortlisted, uh, not shortlisted, though, sorry, those who have been awarded this perennial assistance grant. So many congratulations to all of you. Uh, just the follow up uh, uh, procedure. Uh, all we request you to prepare uh, all the fund that has been given to you, this 1.75 lakh rupees, is for the development activities. Uh, please prepare a development activity for the villages that you have adopted. Uh, share it with your RCI. Once we uh, hear it, kind of get it bettered by your RCIs, and once we hear it from your RCI, we will release the fund. More details we will be following. Uh, yep. I would also like to congratulate all the winners because you have been chosen out of a large number of entries. So these awards have been very competitive that way. But I must also tell you that uh, IIT Delhi did not participate in the in the process. So so as a result, uh, as you can see, because we are the coordinating institute and considering the conflict of interest, so IIT Delhi has not participated in the award process at all. So you don't see our IIT Delhi name in the award list. So I just wanted to clarify that. <laughs> So uh, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, yes, we opted out of uh, this process. And you can see here uh, on the map of India uh, how it is distributed, uh, all the perennial assistance fund. So thank you, director. So thank you very much for pointing that out, that we opted out of this uh, this competition. Uh, we are almost toward the closing of the, of the event today. And I would now request uh, Professor Vivek to kindly propose the vote of thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Priyanka. At the onset, I would like to congratulate all of you on 74th Independence Day of India. Also, my heartiest congratulations to all the institutions, those who have been acknowledged today for their hard and great work under UBA. It is my proud privilege to present vote of thanks on the occasion of perennial fund award ceremony. First of all, my sincere thanks and gratitude to MHRD for providing us continuous and unhindered support in implementation of Unnat Bharat Abhyan. I am very much thankful to MHRD for always supporting IIT Delhi as National Coordinating Institution of UBA. I would like to extend my sincere thanks and gratitude to Dr. Vijay P. Bhatkar, Chairman National Steering Committee of Unnat Bharat Abhyan, for his gracious presence on the occasion. He has always been a mentor and inspiration for all of us. Despite his very busy schedule, he is not only very easily accessible for UBA work, but also he you know, helps us in building our strategies. My sincere, uh, I'm thankful to you, sir. My sincere Thank thanks to our director, Professor Ram Gopal Rao, Without his continuous and active support, UBA would not have reached to the present status. Thank you, sir. Uh, I feel deep gratitude in thanking all our participating institutions, their faculty members, students, for their active support to UBA. It is their zeal, enthusiasm, and hard work which has made UBA one of the most crowned or feathered program of MHRD. My sincere thanks is also due to our regional coordinating institutions for their support in the whole process of evaluation. Without their support, actually, we would not have, it would not have been possible to evaluate because they are the institutions, those who verified all these activities in the field. I'm also thankful to all UBA staff members, those who are working very hard day and night, even in this COVID time. And actually my thank is due to all UBA staff members, whether they are working in NCI or RCI or our participating institutions. My thank is also due to staff members of CNET Hall for their support in organizing the event. In the end, 
my thanks to all those who are associated with Unnat Bharat Abhiyan. Once again, happy Independence Day to all. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat, Vande Matra. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Bhatkar. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, Professor Ram Gopal, I would like to just say one thing. Yesterday, uh, our Honorable Prime Minister announced that there will be optical fiber connected to each, not only the Gram Panchayat village, but every village of India. We are talking about 6 lakh plus villages. This is going to be a big leap from the information technology perspective. And we want each village which is connected to Nath Bharat Abhiyan uh, or otherwise have website now. They, they can have their, they can upload videos, see the actual programs, what are being done in this graphic so that the students can connect themselves that this is the village I am working, this is the program I am working, this is the difference I am making from, uh, from, from through technology and other means. So I think this is a, this is a great thing happening, a particular yeah, presentation. Yeah. Thank, Thank you very much. We will discuss that, Dr. Vijay. I think we will take care of that. Thank you very much. Sir.